Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the Internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows up. Everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night, folks. To master love, you have to practice love. The art of relationship is a whole mastery, and the only way to reach mastery is with practice. To master a relationship is therefore about taking action, not about attaining knowledge. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials down two, uh, down 326, NASDAQ off 105, S&P's off 40, gold contract down $2.70, trading at 17 99 an ounce. You get silver down 13 cents, $25.98 an ounce, light sweet crude up 87 cents. $73.06 a barrel notes and bonds. 10-year note up nine ticks, trading 133.37. 30-year up 19 at 163.28 and king dollar. King dollar is down 243 ticks, trading out at 92.400. The euro is at 118. The yen is at 109.83. And the British pound is at 137 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do you have? Well, first day we had red in a long period of time here. Bottom line, you get a pullback. You're, you don't have big volume. That's the bottom line. So, uh, you know, you get 65 million shares here. It's not bad. But, you know, if you get a, if, just to give you an idea, the last time we came down on uh, June the 17th and 18th, uh, you banged out 90 million shares and then 118. The prior time with that was 134 and 130, 116. So the bottom line is that you get a pullback, but you still don't have a lot of selling here. NDX 100, this is the one you want to keep your eye on, folks. The reason being is that what we did is that you finished off two ABC structures on the way up. Uh, the price projection of the second one was uh, 362.85. We got the 362.76. And then you have a third one that's in place. And this third one in place has a price projection of 370.56. And this does not indicate it on the way down. Uh, we will see whether it turns into a complex one. It would, if it got under 355.09, 355.01, yeah, 355 actually, uh, then it can turn into a complex one. A complex one means that you've taken the B point out, you took it out with volume. You pull back underneath it, and a key kick in there is that you have to pull back with light volume. You kind of have the expansion of volume. Inside of the NDX, the bottom line is that you still don't, you know, just to give you an idea, like the, in March, well, actually, the last time even, what's that, June? Yeah, June, you pull back with 55 billion. You get 40 now. We'll, we'll do 50. Um, but prior to that, uh, the one in May, we pulled that back with real volume. It, the bottom line is that you rejected lower price out here today, and you're going to have a volume that's not heavy. Gold. Gold contract here made the run up to the uh, 18, 18 area, gave it up on price again. Uh, you get the volume behind the move, though. That's saying you're going to be right back topside. Now, this is what's really intriguing, because if we go over and we take a look at the yen, what you're going to see is that the yen got strong like bull. Now, when the yen gets strong like bull, man, the bottom line, gold lets to go to the moon. I think we basically, basically lucked out that when the yen actually broke topside, it was a false break topside, 111, yen to one U.S. dollar, bottom line, gave it up on spades. Now we're at 109.82. That's saying that the yen was, wants to go all the way back to this 107 area, and that should really put some juice underneath the gold market. Silver, we go take a look at the silver market. Silver market right out here. You got to 26.31. You're trading 26 bucks right now, and, you know, bottom line, silver is actually still stronger than gold. And good old King Dollar. So coming into the weekend tomorrow, King Dollar is going to be something to keep your eye on. Uh, King Dollar didn't hold price today. The number to keep your eye on the King Dollar is going to be the 92,405. The 92,405 number, folks, okay, is the first big swing point that when... The dollar came off its lows in May. Bottom line, had a huge run, and it did a 0.618 retracement. And that 92.405 is the number to keep your eye on. You know, we've been over it uh, twice. First time we came over, it got back underneath it quickly, right, rose just as quick, came right back uh, underneath it again. Some of the higher volume equities that we have out here today. Oh, you talk about AMC. Oh, man. 
they, they stocks to something else, man. AMC, folks, was down ten dollars. Now you're up a dollar. Bottom line went from thirty-eight to forty-nine in about a heartbeat. Rejected lower price out here. Uh, these meme stocks are just something else, man. I mean, that's the bottom line. Is that um, they 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 pull back and uh, those Reddit traders are just all over those babies. Some other higher volume equities out here to today. What we have? You have Apple. Uh, is down 142. You got uh, Virgin Galactic up 693. We'll go take a look at that one. Wells Fargo is uh, down a buck 30. Now this is interesting about Wells Fargo. I'm I'm wondering how big their actual their business actually is, um, in the credit business because Wells Fargo came out and announced something that you don't see. The last time I actually saw this was in 2007 when they shut down all banks, shut down credit lines. But uh, Wells Fargo says shutting down all existing personal lines of credit and we're no longer offer the product to customers in an effort to simplify our product offer. And sure, we've made a decision to no longer offer personal lines of credit uh, as we feel we better meet bar the borrowing needs of our customers through credit card and personal loan products. Bottom line is that uh, I'm not quite sure about that. Let's see. The portfolio uh, in the personal lending book was $5 billion. I guess that's not, that's not much at all. Not for them, anyway. Let me just see. With yeah, five billion's nothing. I guess it's maybe it's a product people don't use anymore. Uh, revenue. Yeah, yeah. You know what? This is nothing. Five billion. They take in seventy-one point four billion. So a portfolio of five billion for a bank, no doubt, uh, is nothing. The uh, we had a question about. Uh, this is a cool one. Okay, so check this out. So. Amazon is in a ABC structure on the way up and 37.45. Do we hit it yet? Oh, there it is. Okay, so this is cool. So Amazon hit the daily ABC structure on the way up. Now what you have, and we'll, if we get 22 million shares traded this week, you're going to get um, a much larger ABC structure on the way up. Just stay right there, and we'll talk about this as soon as we come back, folks.